Do you have a wine lover on your Christmas list? Instead of just gifting a bottle of wine, why not build a wine crate like this that helps you safely transport up to three bottles of wine and it can be flipped over and used for wine storage with a usable top. I'm using it as a cheese board. You can also stack them up for even more wine storage. So this is a quick and easy DIY project. You can probably build it out of scraps in your garage or about $10 to $20 in materials. In this video, I'm going to show you how. What? Make me go straight from working in the garage to the holiday party with my wine caddy. <laughs> This project uses 1x8s and 1x3s. So I got all of my boards cut and I've got a cut list on my blog in the project plan so you just click over there and download that. I don't need to tell you everything right here. Uh, but basically you're, you got 1x3s which are really cheap like $1.50 for an 8 foot stick and then some 1x8s. So 1x8s are a little bit more expensive. If you have some scrap woods, these are pretty small cut pieces so it'll take advantage of little scrap pieces that you have and you can probably make this for free. So how this works is the interior of the wine holder is like this, right here. And the wine bottles will go like that, but I need to cut out little arches in the front so that the wine bottles have something to sit in. I have in the plans the pattern for the half circles to cut out. But I want to tell you one other thing before I get into this. If um, you don't have a jigsaw or you don't want to cut out the half circles, you could just use one by twos here and not do any cutting and the wine bottles would still fit in there and still be at the right height. Still, it would still function the same. It just wouldn't have that look that tells you this is for wine specifically. Okay, so I'm going to get to cutting. So I got these guys jigsawed out and this is definitely the most challenging part. If you don't feel comfortable, just use substitute the 1x3s for 1x2s, don't do any jigsawing, it'll be just fine. But um, if you do do the jigsawing, um, I didn't have the right blade so it was a little bit more difficult so you want like a blade that can turn corners, um, like a scroll saw blade for a jigsaw would be really good for wood. The other thing you want to do is go ahead and sand any rough edges because it'll get really hard to sand once it's part of the project. All right, so it's all cut. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling. So I'm just going to use my 18 gauge brad nailer and some glue and some inch and a quarter brad nails to put all this together. Doesn't need anything fancy. This is all from my scrap pile. Now I just go ahead and do the same thing and put the dividers in. You do not have to be perfect here. That's gonna not look good. I'll sand that though. All right, so, and honestly, that could just be your wine holder just that way in there, but we want to make it a little bit fancier. It's actually not bad. <laughs> We're all done. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's got to be more. Okay, as tempting as that is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add these to the sides. Okay, so I put about three more minutes into this project. So this is such a interesting and fun and different way of presenting wine as a gift. And you know, we're using scrap wood, so this is pretty much free for me to make. Um, if I had to go and buy like a wine crate or something at the store, it could be 10, 20 bucks. And then, you know, it just becomes 
garbage anyways, so this is totally biodegradable. and it's handmade and unique. Okay, so believe it or not, we are almost done. <laughs> See, you could totally make this in just a couple hours, fill it up with some wine and personalize it and somebody would be very happy and appreciative of it. I would be, as long as it was good wine. <laughs> no, I would take any wine, I'm kidding. All right, well that's it, let's test it out. So I got two things of wine here. This is just a regular uh, bottle the size of about a red that and then this is a white wine so the bottle's a little bit bigger. It's in there too. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and stain this up and the color I'm using is Rustoleum Golden Oak or I think it's Ferrothane Golden Oak. Uh, I really like this color because it's a very neutral Brown, a very farmhouse brown, if you will. It's got a little bit of a gray undertone, no oranges at all in it, and it's light. So it goes really well on pine. But of course, you could stain or paint to match any decor. Um, one thing I want to say is you can use the top of this as a cutting surface. If you do choose to do that, you'll want to use like a butcher block finish if you're cutting. Or if you're serving food off it, make sure you add a poly because this is not food grade. So um, depending on your use, you'll want to make, take those extra steps. So if there's three bottles of wine in this carrier, it can be pretty heavy. So I'm going to add some handles just to make it a little bit easier and you definitely don't want to drop your wine. <laughs> Double handles is you want to drill a hole a little bit bigger so that way you have some room to, to make sure that the screw holes lock into each other. All right, so um, this is, I think this is how it's going to work, hopefully. So when you want to give it as a gift, you can fill it up with wine three bottles here. I really like how the wine is um, on display so you can see the labels. And you can also tuck some like cheese or anything back in this spot here if you want to really fill it up. So, and then you can just bring this and give it as a hostess gift. Maybe put a ribbon on it or something. Um, and then your hostess, they can use it as it is, or they can flip it and here on. and then the space on top is still usable for like let's say you want to put some wine glasses on it some cookbooks on it or even use it for like a cheese tray for appetizers but of course there's got to be more right so you can take another one and this one isn't quite dry and the handle's not on it yet you can take another one and stack it up the only thing, if you were doing this permanently, I would recommend maybe throwing a screw or two in just so that, you know, it's wine, just so it stays more stable. Well, I think I need to go buy some more wine to fill this thing up.
the wine organizer turned out really awesome and we discovered that they stacked up too through the build process so you could just keep giving wine every year and keep, keep making organizers and pretty soon they'll have you know a big wine bank um, but we really love it it's really awesome to be able to just carry this and present it to a host as a hostess gift or a loved one. The wine is in there nice and sturdy, so it will transport really well. There is some space on the back that you could fill up with maybe some nice cheeses or even put a card in there. Um, and it works really well this way. You can stack them up here. There is no bottom on this, so you can carry it like this, but I don't know if I would necessarily trust it you wouldn't want to go like long distances with expensive wine that way <laughs> so um but what i wanted to say is you can put a bottom on it if you wanted to actually transport it like this so you wouldn't want to make it too much bigger just because it gets so heavy with the wine in it definitely use it double stacked or even triple stacked uh, you could keep your you know bottle opener even mount one of those fancy bottle openers on top it's just a really lovely project and it's got that wood tone, it's got that farmhouse feel, so people are gonna love this. If you have a wedding to go to, Christmas party, anniversary gift, this is a great gift that you can hand make that's completely unique. Go out and um, build it, enjoy your parties, be responsible, and then come back and share a photo with me so I can see how your projects turned out. Thanks so much for watching this week. We'll see you next Monday. Happy holidays.